Okay, I am making this video for myself and hopefully it will help another person. I just bought this V-Show um, Artnet to, and it gives you eight channels out of your computer. I have downloaded the absolutely free version of Magic QPC, which is amazing. Part of the reason I'm making this is because the customer service there was so awesome. <clears throat> and basically they give you this free software and they do it in hopes that you will buy a console. And guess what? It's going to work because I've been using it and yeah, now I want a console. So, but in the meantime, I'm using this and some people could use this for free. And this is how you could do it and set this art net because there's nothing really good out there that shows how to do this. All right. So Jam System is a program. You're going to need to download it. You're going to need to let, know a lot about it before you can do this. But if you do, this is how you can set it up. So first, let me go over this device. It basically has ArtNet in and um, and eight outputs. And this is how you're going to set that up. Now, on the back of your Mac computer, because this is for Mac, you got these Cat5 cables, right? And I come out of the back of the computer and I had to, in order for me to have it work, I got this network switcher. Went to the gym, came back, and plug into the network switcher and then everything I had done worked but anyway this is it's I forgot what kind it's called this one happens to be a TL SG 105 but I don't really think that means anything so I plugged that in and then I plugged from the computer to here from here into the output and the outputs look like this <clears throat> and that's it there's eight outputs at this time I have my two test lights, one coming out of each universe. So you're going in and actually, you know, you can either go in or out. Funny thing about those DMX things. All right, so that's the hardware setup. And then you're gonna need your uh, Magic Q and Chamsys, C-H-A-M-S-Y-S, -S, uh, loaded on your computer. Now, I'm gonna go over the menu structure because they did a terrible job in the, in the menu of really describing this. So just like any other device, you're gonna have menu up, down, and enter. And if you've ever used lights, it's kind of a standard, like in this slide has menu up, down, and enter, okay? But this is what the, the, uh, the layout of the menu is. So you get to the main menu, and you get to choose between setup and your system. So these are the global system setups. I'll go through that first. Firmware, you can't do anything. And then you go to display, uh, <clears throat> back later not or something like that. Then there's just break time. Nowhere in the menu does it even, or the directions does it say what it is, but it's zero to four. If someone has a comment, can tell me what the heck that is. I'd really appreciate it. And then um, signal loss, hold or black. That's obviously like if you lose a signal, will the light stay still or will it just go off? And then a factory reset. But this is the stuff you're basically going to be really using. So you're gonna go into setup and you're going to set this network IP and subnet. So you go set up, you hit enter network, hit enter. You're going to go to the IP address. After that, you assign the DMX outputs. So DMX out, and then you get to pick your DMX channel one through eight. And you're going to pick either DMX A or B, which is the output on the back. I know I'm going fast. Is a general overview. Artnet. Um, you want to pick. You're going to pick Artnet, and then you're going to go to the sub universe. All right. So I'm going to review what you're going to need to do, and then I'm going to actually do it. And what you're going to do is when you get to the main menu on this thing, first thing you need to do is go to setup, network, and then to your IP address. Your IP address is supposed to be um, 2.0.0.1, and your sub mask is going to be 255.255.255. Two fifty-five point zero. I don't know why this works. I did a bunch of Googling and that one seems to work for something. And then you're going to set it up on your computer. You're going to set it up in your this. And then when this is all plugged in, it seems to work. Okay. If you're taking on this challenge, I think you can do a lot of this stuff yourself. I'll give you a, a brief understanding of what that kind of looks like. So what we're in setup. Well, first you end up with this. The menu is going to say, click this menu four times and you will get to I forgot what it is. You will get to net. Well, you can't see. Look at this. You're like going like this. It does it. So that, all right. So let's hit enter. And now we're at setup. And we can go see how we can go up and down. All right. So we are going to do a setup and then enter. Now, network settings. We go enter. IP address. Let's go enter. See? I don't know if you can read that. 2.0.0.1. The way you're going to change these real fast is this little C that goes in front of it allows you to hit enter and then hit the up and down arrows 
to change that. Okay, it took me a little bit to figure this out. So hit menu, now you're out of that, notice that. Hit menu again, all right, and then you're at IP address. So now you go down, like we learned, subnet, enter. All right, 255, 255, 255.0. So I had already set that, you know how to set that. Next thing you're gonna do is get out of network settings, as we remembered our, our menu tree. So let's start all the way from the beginning. We're gonna enter, set up, enter. We're gonna go down or up, hit DMX, hit enter. All right, so these are all your DMX outputs because you got eight outputs. And to set these up, I'm just gonna show you how to set up one and you gotta do it to eight, all of them. All right, so here we go. And we hit enter. Now, you could have, you'll be on like DMX A, DMX B, just set that to Artnet, Go to, all right? Do that to all of them, set them all to Artnet. Now you hit enter again, and now it's giving you the subnet. Okay, I don't know what that is. I don't even know what this is. I don't know what this is. I'm being honest with you. I just figured this out, and I know nothing about networking. So this is like an idiot's guide, fellow idiot, following idiot. All right, so <clears throat> what you basically wanna do on universe one, you want it on zero. You don't want it on one. This is how it's going to work. So. If you go to like DMX2, enter, you had it set on Artnet, you go to, you set that on one. So whatever it is, it's one less. Because, because Artnet starts on zero, I just know it works and everybody else said to do it. So that's basically how you're setting that up. If you wanna set up the system stuff, you just hit enter and then up to the firmware and all those little things. And Okay, again, I don't get paid for this stuff, but I will at the end show you what this box is. I got it on Amazon for $215 on this date. Okay, so, Network settings are gonna be up here. Sorry, I'm using my phone. It's just easier to edit this video. So you're going down to system preferences. Okay, system preferences. And then you can find it by going to network. Okay, so this is how my settings are set up. Um, I don't know totally what I'm doing. I just know this worked for me. So there's a chance that I may be doing something wrong. But what I did is I didn't create anything. I kept this on automatic. I do have my Wi-Fi set up. I didn't have to turn mine off. And I have not gotten it to the point where I can get Wi-Fi out of this switcher, <clears throat> but I digress. Okay, so Ethernet, type here 2.0.0.1. Type this, 255.255.255.0. I also went to advanced setting, this advanced setting, and I typed it in there under this TCP IP, and I hit Okay, so that is your network settings. What you're gonna do is, there's this button here, it's called setup. So hit setup, and this is kind of where all your settings are. Your main settings are view settings, view system, DMX IO. So um, to make this kind of easy, uh, I've already printed out these screens. So while you're here, in this screen, go to network, okay? And you're gonna type in here, hopefully you can see that, IP address, what is it? 2.0.0.1, submask, okay? 255.255.255.0, so it all matches. Now here are the other items that are in there, just in case they help you, but I'm pretty sure I did not mess with those. You basically just double click it and that's how you go in. Next thing, under view DMX IO, you're gonna hit this, okay? This is what my settings look like. You're gonna make sure this is enabled. You're gonna set this to Artnet, okay, on all eight of them. You're going to set the first universe, so it says universe one through eight, by the way, make sure you have eight universes to set the universes go up here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and see how this is set to Artnet zero and Artnet zero again in types. And that's it. All right, all these other things, visualizer kind of came up for me, view settings. And over here is ports, and I could have organized this better. I have it looking like this. And as you can see, I have this DMX output. And I have it on uh, Magic Wing interfaces, no. Okay, or it's coming up as no. Oh, that's a picture, I'm so stupid. All right, no, I put no there on the menu and in this one, I put DMX, it's DMX output. I don't know, and that works. So that is basically it on how to set that up. Um, all right, 
I'm gonna review really quick, okay? Here we go. What you're gonna do, you're gonna get this thing plugged up. You're gonna plug a Cat5, Cat6 Ethernet cable in the back of your computer's Ethernet port. You're gonna plug it into one of these things. You're gonna plug it out of there. You're gonna plug it into here. You're gonna down the output port. All right, and on here, you're going to set to 001, 255, and on the subnet, 255.255.255.0. That is the number y'all need to remember, okay? And you're gonna set that everywhere. So you're gonna set it on this device. You're gonna to go to your network settings, and you're going to, for me, I have that ethernet out, out right? Um, and I set it right there, IP address, okay? I think I may have gone to the advanced setting, but I set it right there, okay? And then in my, in my CHAM system, we were setting it up again up here, okay? That's 2001, 2.0.0.1, .0 and then this subnet we keep talking about, okay? Then you make sure you have eight universes set, right? And you make sure that they are all set like you see it there, and that's kind of it. So in the end, and I will tell you, I honestly had to restart, start and restart, and I don't know why it works sometimes and didn't work others, but it did finally work, so... I'm gonna go to my layout and show you that it is working. So I put these silly intimidator spots on um, on two universes, or actually on all universes. So now when I hit locate, they go up. All right, so they're in my little office. And then I have this um, light program I created. Let's clear that out of the programmer. And I'm gonna slide this up. Just, this was just a test to make sure it worked. And they are actually going on two universes. And I tested them on all eight. And so, honestly, this is like pretty mind-blowing cool because it's, um, you know, eight universes, which is like over 4,000 channels. And this thing is feeling really solid. Um, so I need to just give a real props to the guys over at Magic Q, because this, this program is really great. I haven't used programs like MA or things like that, but I was using Chave Show Express for years and went up to this. And this thing is extremely vast. It's not for the weak at heart, but um, you actually can use this for free getting started. And it also has all sorts of other fun stuff like this visualizer where you can actually play video in eight levels. Um, you can actually program to a song. I'm going to make a video about that where you can actually enter a song, have a video, and program the light to the video. They don't... Sorry, guys. Um, they're not very good at marketing their stuff, if you ask me. Um, they're better, they are better at making their stuff, and their, their stuff is not really that good. Like, Resolume does an incredible job. Mackie does a great job of making their stuff look good. But that doesn't mean it's a bad product. They just bland and dry like a bunch of computer programmers. So this thing does some incredible stuff and uh, it really does. And so that's it. So hopefully I don't get paid for this. I don't get paid for links. Nobody gives me anything for doing this. I just sharing what I like. And so we are the Boom Boom Room Burlesque Club. Um, that's the Boom Boom Room STL. And I use this stuff to make burlesque shows in St. Louis. See you later.